second leg of my road trip. Uh, ended up back in Virginia, what I consider home. And I'm out with Aaron again, metal detecting, and he's got a ton of property permissions. Uh, if you've watched my videos in the past, you've seen my trips to Virginia, and, and he just puts us on some amazing properties where we find Civil War stuff, buttons. I found a, a, a two real Spanish coin, large cents, all sorts of fun stuff. You never know what you're going to come across out here. Uh, British coins and just fun. So today, this is a new property, a new permission. Aaron has not tried it yet. Uh, so we're going to give this a whirl and see how we do. So this property, the house behind the trees over there, you can't really see it. Uh, early 1800s, owned most of the property. And then over the years, uh, family members have built other houses on the property. The house we're at is uh, 1800s, late 1800s, I I'd guess. Uh, but the property is from the original house, which was early 1800s. So Civil War activity for sure. I am rambling. If you're new to my channel, uh, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. Join me. I upload a video every Saturday, and I uh, mostly detect Southern California, but I do some traveling. So here we are, Northern Virginia. Let's get going. Well, typically when I'm out uh, Civil War relic hunting, bullets come up in the high teens, and, and buttons can be all over, but this one's six inches deep, and it's a pretty solid 10. So we'll see what we get. I'm going to open up the hole. Pointer battery's dying. <laughs> I think I have a battery. But anyhow, this is what's in here. And some kind of a I don't even want to guess. I really don't know. It's built for a purpose. I'll show it to Aaron and see if he might know what this is. Well, we're not starting out with trash, that's good. Let's keep going. Turned out being an old square nail. Shotgun shell. So this is a piece of brass. Sealed on one end, open on the other. But can't really tell what it is. We're gonna go closer to the house. Alright, getting up closer to the house here, and I got a low 20s. 22 to 25. Six inches deep. I get the hole open and I'm pulling in all sorts of wire and crap. Then I plug beneath the rocks and pop the dirt out. We got this thing. Looks like it would have gone on furniture, maybe. Is that the low 20s I was hearing? Yep. Well, Aaron and I at the same time dug mason jar lid, and these sound amazing, and we're right up near the house. So anybody in their right mind metal detecting would have not passed this up. So that kind of suggests nobody's really detected here before, which is a good thing. So as much uh, trash as we've gotten so far, it's uh, still promising. So we're going to keep going. All right, this was... Uh Ringing up a 2829, it was only like two inches deep, but it's definitely uh, some kind of an old belt buckle or something. Not as old as we're looking for, but it's old. It's pretty cool. There are so many tones in this yard, it's uh, almost unbelievable. So, kind of picking and choosing. I got a mid 20s, six inches deep right here. Well, it's round mid-twenties we have a ring what is this washer looks more like a washer than a ring and eh, who knows all right I had a solid 22 and it looks like some kind of a buckle Pretty cool. It does. That rang high. Uh, no, 22, 23. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't, but. Aaron's got a 22, 23, open the hole, and we know what it is. It hasn't even come out of the hole yet, but let me see if I can get you close here. Let me 
me too. Want me to break it? <laughs> that is a cronal bell. It's complete. There you go. You got one? Yeah, I got it. All right, I'm gonna try not to Greg this one. Yeah, don't Greg it. If this is complete, that's super cool. I've never found a complete one. You have many times. Yeah. It's not complete. Uh, Darn it. Damn. It's got the top hanger on it though. Or maybe it was complete and I just broke it. And then something popped. It might have been a root though. <laughs> Here, clear that out. Let me see if I get the other half. <laughs> oh, come on, did I? I didn't, because there's no clean break on that, right? No. All right, there's something else down there. If it's cool, we'll pull it out. But in the meantime, these cradle bells are cool. What are they made? They're brass? Uh, I don't... It's a combination of stuff. I don't know exactly what 100% what those are. And these would hang from... Uh, horse, harnesses. horse harnesses and stuff so you can they hear them clacking sleigh. up the street. Sleigh bells, basically. Sleigh bell. Sleigh bell ring. That's a cool one. Alright. Okay, I had a solid 16, 17. Pop the hole and I see a rusty nail sitting right on top. I'm like, damn it. But then I checked the hole again and there was something in the plug. And look, what, look at this. This is all I've seen so far. Bam. Looks like I got some sort of jewelry. Let's get in the sunlight. I broke. There that went. <sighs> yeah. A brooch. Missing two stones. So that's kind of cool. Alright, let's see what else we can come up with. Okay, um, 22 to 25, really consistent. Pop my plug and I see something round. It's either a button or a coin. So let's take a look. It was, I don't know, four inches deep. And it's a darn Lincoln, but could it be a wheat? If it's a wheat, I'm happy. Yes, it is a wheat penny. I'll clean that up in a bit and get a date off of it. Looks like we'll, we'll be able to read it if my eyes are better. Actually, I can see it. 1919. So, 100 and, 105 years old. Not too bad. Let's keep going. All right, we've got coin. And I believe Indian head. Maybe it's wishful thinking. Nope, darn it, it's a Lincoln, but it's probably another wheat. Let's see if I can see the date before the back. Does that say 1912? This was only like three inches deep. Yeah, it's 1912, I believe. Man, I'm hoping for some older coins. I can't get the back off right now with my glove, but... 1912, that is definitely a wheat penny and an early one. It's really cool. The owner just brought us in the house and just let us walk around and take a look at stuff. And just the woodworking is amazing in there. But they have a photo of this house from this angle. And there's some ladies sitting on the porch and a guy on horseback right over here. And uh, it's just really cool. It's probably from the early 1900s, the, the photo. But the house looks identical. It, it was really neat. So I actually found the brooch right over here. And uh, might have come off one of those ladies in the photo. Who knows? So anyhow, history is so much fun. Interesting little thing. I thought it was just a round ball bullet or something, but uh, it's got some hooks on the side like this. This went onto something decorative. Yeah, this wasn't the cleanest tone for sure, um, but it was mid to high 20s. And I popped my plug and I think I'm seeing the edge of something green right there. Yeah. You get in the sunlight. And it's another wheat penny. 
Not a bad thing, but I'm hoping for older. Especially in this area. This is a new penny. But what's that? Four wheat pennies I've found so far. This one's got some oxidation on it, but it'll be able to see a date after a good cleanup. But definitely a wheat penny. You can see the one cent on the back. I hear this one before I dig it. It shows four inches deep, but man, it's screaming at me, but it's quarter tone. Four to six inches, that's what kind of gets exciting, but the way it's two tones, I don't know if it's two whatever it is, or something weird. I'll get the hole open. Okay. This looks like some kind of a, I don't know if it'd be a reed to an instrument, because it doesn't look like a harmonica reed. But it does look like a reed. You got the mounting point and the real thin piece coming off. Same thing on the other side. So that's interesting. Another one of these round things. Decorative. Looks like it goes through something. I don't know. Two of those. Okay, I had a high 30s and typically a high 30s and he's already spoiled it now. I, I pop the plug and I see the edge and I lose my mind. I like drop my machine, run and get Aaron. I haven't looked yet. 36, 37. Morgan. Morgan? What year will a Morgan be? Uh, 18... Up to like 1920s, I think. But... Oh my lord, that's a huge coin. Oh, look at the size of that bait. Do you have any water with you? Hey, don't, don't rub it. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not rubbing this. Alright, it's got an eagle on the back. It says you, United States. Oh, this is crazy. I'm more excited right now than I was when I found my Spanish coin. But I also gouged my Spanish coin. Okay, I don't know my old coins as well as Aaron does. But I see someone standing up. And I think I... I'm not even going to guess it. Let me clean this up. I'll be right back okay. to you. You ready for this? At least it's an ounce of silver. 1990. But it is one ounce of silver. Amazing. One ounce fine silver, one dollar. Man, next to an 1800s house. <laughs> Dude, that's a hey, I'm not upset though. That is, that no, is pretty cool. cool. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Indian head penny, which is going to be 1909 and older. It's not a fatty, so it's not going to be in the 1860s. Is regular thickness. Uh, did we tap in the 1800s though? Let's take a look. Let me get a brush, I'll be right back to you. Uh, I was able to clean it off enough to see it is 1907. So, pretty cool. I'm excited, I want an Indian head. Getting back towards where we want to be. Uh, we are gonna um, be trying another property this trip, which should bring us some older coins, but that's that's no, no slouch, 1907 Indian head. All right, this one's interesting, uh, 17, 18 tone. Yeah, it's some kind of a charm. It's got like a little hanger hook on the top. Looks brass. No? Maybe? What's that football? Yeah. I don't know what the heck it is. It's cool. I still got some shine on it. Point out the laces. It is a football. Old school football. That's pretty neat. All right, appreciate that. Aaron's digging up all the nails for me. Uh, looks like I have a piece of a pocket watch. This is reading 16. And there's something else in the hole, so we might have more of it. Aaron, that's pocket watch, right? Uh, looks like it's possible. Let's see what else is in here. All right, I'm not going to fumble on camera, so I'll come back to you if it's something cool. Okay, back before electricity, they used candles. They'd walk around, they'd have a candle on a little holder, and I think that's what I saw the edge of right here that just fell out of this plug. I may be way wrong, but the finger would go through, maybe, I don't know. 
Or we got a piece of a toy gun. I think that might be what it is. Yeah, I, I think that's more of a toy gun. Texan Junior. That'd be kind of cool to look that up. Texan Junior. Hmm. Cool. Said silver ring. Let's take a look. I'm rolling, so no cussing. No cussing. <laughs> oh, look at that. Like you found the yeah, one of these areas. Can I? Yeah, of course, dude. What that ring? 23, 24. Heck yeah. I'm assuming it's silver. Yeah, looks like it. Got a little weight to it. It'll have a 925 mark on it somewhere, probably. Right. Or sterling. It's a flex one though. I know it's not. That's cool. Wrapping up this hunt with Aaron in Northern Virginia. Lots of interesting stuff here. Um, Would you say that was part of a clock? Yeah, just that old. An older buckle, not Civil War older, I don't think. Maybe. Pen cap. Musical reed of some kind, definitely not harmonica. Washer, I think. Yeah, you can actually see the two layers now. That's a crush washer. Got this brooch. Did you get a picture of the uh, the lady? No, oh. I didn't. But I but I should. I talked about it. Uh, Aaron's cradle bell, or sleigh bell, basically. A portion of it. I didn't bring it. That is a horse and colt show. What year was this? You said nineteen seventeen. 1917, that's pretty slick. Aaron Silver Ring. Uh, a what's it? Who knows? Boy Scout type belt. Pull through that. These things, I found three, Aaron found one. I don't know what they are. Decorative for who knows what. I don't know if that's an old wheel weight or what, but it's lead. The coin. Find of the day, but it's a 1990. But... That is one ounce of silver. Really thick. I, all I saw was that edge, and I was just losing my mind. I thought I was about to pull out something amazing. And it is. It's cool. So. Wheat pennies and one Indian head penny, 1907. I'm excited about that. I love finding Indian head pennies. Uh, that one I thought hit by a lawnmower, I think, is what I said. Aaron said it looks more like a bullet type of hit. Rounded. Again, I didn't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was an older one. 19... Actually, that says 1920. And I haven't checked the dates on the vast majority of the other ones, but one of them was in the teens, I think. Maybe more than one. Wheat pennies. Uh, modern coins. And then this charm football. And the way it's in four sections, it's kind of like the first type of footballs they made. Are the new ones are... I don't know. It's a football. It was deep, so I can assume it's older. That is it. So, this is the first of two hunts Aaron and I are going to be doing in Virginia. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.